Hello Brick Builders, welcome back to Brick Hunter channel. My name is Hunter and today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Pose X-Wing Fighter and that's set number 75102 with 717 pieces and retails for US $80. Now there's a lot to like about this set and it's a great design and there's a couple of things that makes me scratch my head and wonder what LEGO was thinking. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get on with the review. Okay, so uh, let's go over some of the play features first. First of all, there's a little shuttle or cargo transport car. By the way, it does come with uh, three minifigures and uh, BB2, we'll just say four minifigures. Play features, and they do give you extra uh, spring loaded missiles on here. And a little play feature, I don't know if it's a play feature, but just a little note that these do come off pretty easily because there's a jumper there. And inside, you can open up, by the way, that's a sticker there. And it opens up, little cargo area opens up to show that there is little red studs for these stud shooters on the X-Wing. There's that little plate. And it has the bottom clear uh, rounded tile as well, so you can slide around easily. And they give you a nice little ladder. I put the little pistol there, pilot's pistol there. Obviously, I don't think that fits there, but I guess for the... Uh, the pilot to climb up to the X-Wing. Now the main build is obviously Poe's X-Wing. Uh, as I said, let's, let me go over the play features first. Uh, let me get these out of the way. Obviously the cockpit opens up like so to reveal uh, a little little joystick in there. Ooh, I don't know if I can show that, but uh, yeah. A little joystick in there, a little printed piece. Uh, let me see if I can show that. A little printed piece for the uh, the HUD. In the bag, you could clip the. Let me take Poe out. A little clip for his pistol, and then there's a little hook there. And I tried, and you can put hook his helmet on there, but you'll have to take out the pistol. And it kind of barely hangs on. It might just fall off, but it does. You can hang the uh, helmet on there if you wanted to, and I think that's what that's for. But again, you'll have to uh, take out the pistol if you want to do that. There's some uh, stud shooters there. Now, um, not a big fan of stud shooters, but uh, I don't think it detracts from the look. But I don't know if it adds that much to the look. I'm okay with it. It looks fine. I do like the the four spring-loaded missiles on each of the wing. Let me shoot one off. We've all seen these, but there it goes. Might as well shoot off the stud shooter too. Right there. There it goes. Well, they fly off pretty farther than. It always surprised me how far they fly off. But the the main play feature, of course, is the X foil wings that you could open up and. Do that, and you just twist it on top here. Um, now it does kind of stand out, but you could just pretend that's part of the engine. I mean, it's not that bright or anything, so I think it's fine. So you turn it, and the X-wing opens up like so. It doesn't matter which way you turn. If you turn this way left, if you turn or clockwise or counterclockwise, either way it opens up, and it would continue to open and close, which is a very nice feature. Unlike the UCS X-wing, you have to keep like turning and turning and turning and get the. Uh, exact point where you want to stop. This is more like whether it's open or it's closed. Um, and of course the uh, the landing front little little leg here falls away when it's enough when you want to fly it, or fly it around. And it falls down so that you could land the plane like so. Now I wouldn't want to I want to suggest landing this thing with the wings open because it puts a lot of tension on the wings and the mechanism in there. So I haven't tried and I'm not going to try. So 
It may, I mean, it may not, it may be fine. You, you may not uh, damage anything or tweak anything, but I just not, I'm just not gonna try. So, like that. Uh, nice little detail they put in is that they did put a little Technic pin down here, so that you can't side in the little leg too far and have a hard time taking it out. So they put a pin there, which is I think pretty smart, so that you can't do that. We'll just stop right there. Nice little smart little feature. Um, now the coloring. I think I really like the coloring. Uh, we're not used to seeing black, too many like black color vehicles on the rebels side or the uh, resistance side. Well, the good guys, you know what I mean. Um, we usually when we see black and gray or something like that is usually the imperial or the first order. So it's nice to see that. I think it looks really cool. At the same time, if they did do a black and gray then I would think it would look too much like the First Order or the Imperial version of the X-Wing so um, I do like that they did a bright orange so then it kinda stands out that it is for the Resistance or the uh, Rebels kind of the good guys so I think that was kinda smart um, but again I do really like the black color um, I think it looks really good now the Wings opening is, uh, is not new the last set Last X Wing we got before this, the set number, um, what was it, 9493 had the similar uh, opening wing, so that's nothing new, but I still enjoy it. I still think it's great. Um, I do like the flick missiles on four of the wings, and, um, and of course, the new cockpit uh, printed piece is really nice inclusion. I mean, thank goodness that Lego don't give us any any more of these uh, stickers on on Transclear uh, windshield pieces because those are so hard. I mean, it's almost impossible to not put those on without creating little bubbles and make it look horrible. And it's very hard to with all stickers. It's kind of hard to uh, put it on exactly straight. But I think with Transclear pieces, it, it just emphasizes the mistakes that you make. So great that we get a, a printed cockpit there and another thing I really like about this set is uh, well the scale is pretty much right on uh, like the other X-Wings I feel like this is a perfect scale perfect size and another thing that's not noticed right away but I really appreciate is the underside typically underside of the of our a lot of our Lego builds are pretty much just pretty much all look like that. Very much uh, doesn't look so great, but on this X-wing, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, they put a lot of tile pieces here, here, uh, detail pieces there. Of course, that's the landing legs, and then even the tiles on the bottom of the wing. Only part that's really exposed, the bottom plate part, is like a little bit right there and a little bit right here. It doesn't seem like uh, that much. So underside looks really good, and if you wanted to hang this up um, in your room with like fishing wire or something like that and you kind of get the underside view I don't think it looks that bad well, I think it's best uh, from the top view obviously so it's more uh, it's better displayed on like a shelf or something like that but not too shabby on the bottom side uh, I have to say it looks very very good um, now a bunch of stickers uh, not too bad but uh, I'm not a big fan of stickers but in certain things I totally understand and I do think that it enhances the look that's a sticker that's a sticker this little orange thing going around is all sticker these were kind of hard to line up perfectly because they're one two three all four pieces and you want to line up all straight so it doesn't look all zigzaggy I couldn't get it perfect I mean almost but um, like on this side there's a little bit it's a little off but uh, if, it, if you're a younger builder, you can maybe have help your parents uh, help you. But, um, and uh, I mentioned these are stickers. Those little opening, sorry, those little opening things are stickers as well. Um, these, I kind of scratched my head on this one because I don't know if that that little sticker piece here, and they're on both sides of the wing. Let me see if it's on there. Not on the underside, but just top of the wing. Uh, 
those are so simple look. I don't know if it adds that much to the look of this X-Wing. I totally think that they should could have just done with gray plates and orange plates. One by two plates or something like that. And one by two green plates. Um, because it doesn't look that sophisticated so why not just give us plates uh, there instead of stickers but that's you know that's just me because I'm not a big fan of stickers. Another thing that really made me scratch my head and think what was Lego thinking and I would love to have been in the design room Lego design room with the designers when they were when somebody said yeah let's do a blue rubber band that's a great idea I mean <laughs> it just to me that kind of really messes up the look from the back. I mean, the, overall the vehicle looks so great and then you see this bright blue rubber band and I'm just wondering why did they do that? And I know that LEGO makes black rubber bands and I've seen them in other sets. So why did they choose to go with the blue one? I just don't get it. But it is what it is. But yeah, from the back, it's more noticeable when you open up the X-Wing, but the X-Foil wings. But, um, yeah, it still looks good. It's nice to hold right here if you have smaller hands, but I noticed that uh, these do get in the way. I kind of have smaller hands, but for, even for me, um, it kind of do gets in the way. And even holding like this, it gets a little bit front heavy. Maybe with the younger builder with smaller hands, it may be a little bit easier, but at the same time you're kind of holding towards the back so it does get front heavy. I find that the best way to hold it is just by by the cockpit and that's where the center of gravity is so it makes it a bit easier. You just gotta be mindful of these stud shooters because you can accidentally set, set them off but yeah it just looks so great. That's the top view. I feel like it looks great from every angle. I mean, yeah, there's some exposed uh, plates there, but I mean, it's Lego. There's some things that's not, that's unavoidable, so. And of course, this set does have a great collection of minifigures. All right, let's take a closer look at the minifigures. Okay, the first minifigure we'll be looking at is BB-8 and arguably what most people might th think as the best minifigure and now he does come in couple sets like like the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon and this Pose X-Wing Fighter I think Lego did a great job of course his head turn because he's on that stud but nice little details on all the prints and uh, all the sides are different prints so that's nice detail that Lego had put in. Okay, next figure is gonna be the I guess he's the one of the aliens of the resistance. He's the guy who brings the the missiles and stuff like that I guess. Drives around the little little cargo supply shuttle. And he's got a nice little different type of helmet. And nice simple printing on the torso. I do like how the arm is different color. Simple painting on the back, no double sided face, but I always appreciate it when uh, Star Wars sets like this um, do include like a alien species. Nice touch. Alright, next figure is going to be the extra pilot. I don't know if the set ever gave a name for this pilot. Maybe it's just a generic pilot. He has the orange pilot suit uh, with the helmet. And I really like these helmets. Uh, simple painting on the back. No double-sided face printing. 
and just generic face, stern look. But as I said, I really like this helmet. These are like two piece, transclear orange piece on the inside. And um, I really like this helmet. It almost looks like uh, what a military fighter pilot helmet looks like with the big old thing on top. I wish CMF, they would, uh, I wish Lego would create a CMF pilot. I know Lego don't do military, but maybe like a test pilot with this helmet. That would be really cool. Obviously, you know, with the different kind of prints here, but yeah. It's real cool printing on the helmet. I really like the shape of the helmet. It just really looks like one of those fighters, jet fighter helmet type. And uh, of course, the main hero. Paul Dameron, although, um, I mean, at this point, most of you, I mean, who haven't really seen the uh, the movie, but although, uh, so it's not really that much of a spoiler or anything, but yeah, I thought Paul Dameron would have a bigger role in the movie. He just seems like, you know, I thought he would be a bigger hero. I thought he'd be more like, you know, along the lines of Luke or Han Solo, but to me, he had role of like Leia. Basically, he got captured and he got rescued. I know he's supposed to be the best pilot in the resistance, but anyways, I'm kind of getting off uh, subject here. But so he does have nice uh, fighter pilot uh, suit with all that detail. I mean, there's a lot of details in the on the leg and the torso. I really like the color of the uh, the torso and the legs, depending on the back. Again, a great helmet, I think. And he, it does have double-sided printing. Copy face. What is that? Stern face. Anyways. So, just like the, the previous uh, X-Wing set, we got the set uh, the uh, X-Wing set number 9493 uh, we do get four minifigures just like that so that that's a great thing all right that's a final look at the minifigures okay so my final thought I think it's a great set it displays really well it's a great design I feel like it plays really well with all the play features especially with the X-Wings opening and the spring-loaded missiles I think younger builders would have a ball just playing and flying around this vehicle. Uh, it's a overall very great set. I would highly recommend it. Now there's a couple things that I mentioned like the blue rubber band but you know that's very minor and if it bothers you that much you could always change out the rubber band to black ones. You could find it on Brink Blink or something and again it's, it's in the back it's not that big of a deal. Other than that I think if you if you just pull the trigger and if you had bought the set or if you got it as a gift I think you would be very happy with it. I'm very happy with it um, so you know it, it's, it's overall very good design. Okay so that's the end of my review hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this review and this is Brick Hunter signing out bye